I miss this so much, but hi you guys. I can't even talk to it. Hold up. Hi guys, it's Jeremy here. That was so awkward. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I just woke up like an hour ago, I did my whole morning routine. This boy is in dire need of a haircut, which I am gonna go get a haircut today actually at 11. Um, basically today I'm just gonna be uh, taking you guys with me, I guess, to what a day in the life of Jeremy Clyde looks like. But yeah, there are a few things planned out today, so I'm really excited to just kind of take you guys with me. Um, I will have a haircut, I'm gonna have a meeting in a little bit actually. Um, my first meeting of the day, 9 a.m. Next one is at like around 1 p.m. And I also have some errands to do that I'm just gonna take you guys with me. And yeah, we're just gonna be productive, happy, um, thriving. So let's do that. And I'm actually gonna do make another coffee because I really wanna buy an espresso machine because currently I have a key rig and you know, it just it just doesn't suffice. <laughs> like, I feel like if you're like in a, I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but coffee always tastes better when not done in a Keurig. Like my friends who like make coffee through like an espresso machine, they have their little frother, ah, oh, divine. But Keurig, mm, we have no choice at the moment. So you know what? Let's just. Let's just do that. I'm gonna be using one of my favorite mugs as Up and Adam. I actually got this at Target. I think it's so freaking adorable. <laughs> that was my coffee a while ago. But round two for me. I play back when it's over, the back when, back when it's over. Back when it's over, I want back when it's back, back, back when it's over the way touch in the shoulder. I want back when it's over. I'm currently listening to Kundalini Awakening. It's an audible. I'm currently in chapter 13. Yeah, you can't see that. <laughs> but yeah, this is usually what I do when I eat breakfast. I just listen to an audiobook or read a physical book. When people talk about the psychic world, you will often hear them mention the word vibration. So what is vibration? Also, I listen to things in like 1.5 speed because I can't listen to an audiobook when they're super slow. Like, I, no. In spirituality, there are different levels of vibration. But generally, there are only two. High and low vibration. You need to learn how to protect yourself. The way to do this is to create a shield. This auric shield is very strong and it protects me from all negative people and entities. Feel and intensify the visualization. Once you are satisfied with the power of your auric shield, simply stop thinking about it and let it do its job. I am a minute late to this meeting, uh, but I'm coming there. <laughs> so I have this Zoom meeting. It's a kind of a chill one, so that's why I'm wearing this. Hey, hey guys. Hey Jeremy, how you doing? Good, good. How about you guys? Good morning. Um, and now that we do have some people who have enrolled, we can kind of look at a breakdown of those individuals. Um, also Aruba, which if you don't know where that is, because I didn't, <laughs> this island off of Venezuela. Ah. All right, you guys can't even see my eyes. It's like it's just the, <laughs> the reflection of the monitor. But I am officially done with the first meeting of the day. It's quite an early one, but... But basically I have about an, uh, an hour and 50 minutes to just do whatever. I'm probably gonna clean or whatever or eat more. I don't know. But really the next on my agenda is my haircut at 11 and yeah, it's 9 only. So um, I got time. I don't, know, I don't know what to do now. So I've actually decided to just do some emails right now just so it's out of the way. Um, I usually do this just like right after I eat breakfast and when I feel like I'm on the right mindset to do emails because some emails can be very hectic and it usually just like creates like a little whirlwind for me to where like okay now I have to do this and this and this and this and this so I really have to be like in the right mood for it I'm almost done with emails I've been doing emails for Wow, an hour. Whoa. That went by so fast. Another thing that I like despise doing emails is because you have to speak like the corporate uh, vibe of the emails, like of how you speak. And it's like it's so formal to the point where it's, I, I just feel like I'm a robot. And I think this is my final email at least for now. So I'm really happy. So let me just send this. I'm just gonna review just in case I did some typos. Okay, perfect. I just sent it and I am done. 
I am done. What time is it? 10.22. Yes, I'm done. All right guys, so quick update. It's 10.50 and it's almost time for my haircut appointment. It's at 11. I am just wearing a very basic outfit as you can see because I'm not trying today. I'm excited to get rid of this mop. And also the haircut place is literally walking distance from me, which is great. So I don't have to drive, yay. I'll try to see if I could vlog. I probably won't be able to, um, but I'll try to sneak in some little clips, I guess for you guys. But yeah, I'll see you guys after I get my haircut or when I get my haircut, so. Update, this is what it's current looking like. It's still wet. I'm trying to uh, dry it out and see how fluffy it'll look after. I'm gonna go to my car right now and I'm actually going to move my car and then I have a meeting at one, which is in a few minutes, but it's also another chill one, so it doesn't matter. Just realized that I can totally just use my AirPods while I'm talking to them because it's literally about to start in like four minutes. So I can just do it like that. Bruh, the wind already ruined my hair. All right, so false alarm. I guess we're not gonna be on a call. Ha, never mind. They called me back, so let's do it. Hey, Dave. Doing good, how about you? And I really appreciate your time, thank you. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, just message me on Slack, or I mean, you have my number already, so you can just text me directly. But cool. yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, I will, man, definitely. And I'll, I'll also, uh, once I get those videos in the right place, I'll send them over to you. Awesome, and, uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. I'll send it, I'll send it over Slack too, so. Okay, yeah, that works, that works. Boom, I am done with my little, that was a quick call actually, that was like seven minutes. I am done and now I am just gonna go to a store now. I've decided that I'm gonna go to Japantown because it's quite pretty there and they have some really cute gift shops and hopefully I can find something cute there because I am buying for gifts. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm excited to go to Japantown. <laughs> There's so many fucking cute stores here, guys. Like, look at, so cute. I think I'm gonna go to this store because this, wow, cute. I am so obsessed. How cute are these? Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh my god, I'm definitely gonna buy one. I don't know which one to pick though. So I just realized that my car is about to expire. So I have to go back. My little Japan town trip got cut short because the boy's not about to get another ticket. No, thank you. But nonetheless, I usually go to Daiso when I go to Japan town because they have so many cute things. I totally forgot to update you guys, but I am back home now and I'm actually currently folding my laundry while I'm gonna hang this. But yeah, I just been doing that and I'm gonna go clean my apartment because I feel like I want to. And also because my friends are coming later on but like at 11 p.m. so it's very late when they come here. I'm just staying over for like two days, so I'm really excited about that. But I just want my apartment to like look clean, just so when they come here, it's not messy. And I really wanna read and journal later on, so I'm gonna bring these things. This gold one is my journal, and this book called The Blissful Life, I'm currently reading, it's really good, by Robert Powell. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to Dolores Park, um, and just chill there and read because I like being in nature or parks when I read so stay tuned <laughs> So I am officially done cleaning. Let me turn off this music. We did not want to get a copyright, but I'm um, just done cleaning now. Um, I'm gonna go get ready to go to the park, go read and journal, chill at the park and see where things go. So I'll see you guys there. All right guys, I am ready to go to the park. This is the fit for today. Very much green and yellow. I don't know how I'm standing like that, but yeah. Just the outfit, I got my little tote bag with all my goodies. My notebook, not a notebook, but like my journal. And then I also got water. This is one of my favorite spots because there's so many people that usually go here. And it's such a vibe here, honestly. That's why I really like it. It's just the ambiance of it all is so nice and you have a nice view of the city too the city is covered by the trees right there but usually there's like more on like on the back of that but right now i decided to take this spot because i thought it was cute and 
it was empty so yeah all right guys so i'm reading this book um the blissful life the one i said earlier and this fucking hit me so much it says uh, to be a living being is not the ultimate state there is something beyond much more wonderful which is neither being nor non-being neither living or not living it is a state of pure awareness beyond the limitation of space and time once the illusion that the body mind is oneself is abandoned death loses its terror it becomes part of living and that is so fucking deep hi guys i'm finally home now i felt like i haven't updated you guys it's already 7 52 p.m um i'm just doing some work right now and i don't know how to end this vlog or if i'm even gonna end it here probably not i'm probably gonna wait till like my friends are here i'm working on a little something something for you guys and i'm so excited to share it very soon <coughs> i'm like so excited like this is actually what i'm working on but um it's just a little secret project for now and i'm so excited my hair looks crazy but guys update it's 11 11 whoa oh. but uh my friends are here finally this Yo, is matthew jordan <laughs> and they're both in seancody.com <laughs> Yo, find us on peterfever.com <laughs> what's that oh my god you don't know what that Ooh, is peter no Let's get a learn tonight. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna go online. <laughs> <Can I hear? laughs> Peter Fever. So it's like like an Asian like an Asian fetish. It's like it's like it's just Asian guys. Asian guys. Ah. Mm. The more you know.